everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Star of Wonder Christmas ornament which you can see here in front of you. Uh, this is a an ornament, it's about three inches in size and this is the first Christmas ornament in the Christmassy Crochet Long which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. In the description of this video, you will find some pattern information there as well as the direct link to the written instructions for this ornament as well as information about the rest of the crochet along that will be happening over the next week. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe and uh, take a look at some of the other patterns there. For our pattern today, uh, I'm going to be using a yarn uh, called Shawl in a Ball by Lion Brand Yarn. And this is the yarn here. It has a little bit of sparkle to it and that's the one that I used in this ornament here. Uh, it is classified as a worsted weight yarn but if you are going to switch this yarn for a different type of yarn, and actually in the video I'm going to use a different yarn that's easier to see. If you're going to substitute the yarn, you're going to want to use a lightweight yarn. So look for the uh, number three in this uh, little ball of yarn there on your yarn label. I just find this yarn is a little bit lighter than the worsted medium weight. So uh, substitute with a light weight yarn. This is another example of the Patton's Grace which I'm going to use today. You're also going to need a 3 inch metal ring and this ring I found at my local craft store. Also you're going to need a 4 millimeter crochet hook and uh, I'll have links for these items also in the description of the video for more information. So this is the ornament we're going to crochet today. The written instructions are on my blog, richtexturescrochet.com. And uh, again, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and our metal rings and crochet this easy Star of Wonder Christmas ornament. So for our ornament today, you're going to need about 15 to 20 yards of your yarn. Uh, just to make it easier to see, I'm going to use this Peyton's Grace. Uh, there are many other pictures on my blog of the ornaments. And there they are all worked in the shawl of, in a ball yarn. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to make our slip knot. And you don't need your metal ring at this point. You're going to attach the metal ring at the very end. This pattern is worked in rounds. There is no need to turn at the end of each round. We're going to start by chaining two. Then into the second chain from your hook, you're going to work six single crochet st stitches. So work six single crochet into the second chain from your hook. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and chain one. Continuing working it around, Round two, you're going to work two single crochet stitches into each stitch. So starting in the first stitch there, the same as joining, work two single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. You're going to have a total of 12 single crochet stitches and then join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. These Christmas ornaments are only five rounds long, so they're pretty quick to make. Once you're all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Round three, you're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as joining, chain four, skip the next stitch and single crochet 
into the next. Repeat, chain four, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come to your final stitch, you'll chain four, skip one, and join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So I'm here at my final stitch, chain four, skip one, and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round four, you're going to chain one, single crochet into that first stitch. You're now going to work into the next chain four space. Into this chain four space, you're going to work a single crochet, half double crochet, two double crochet stitches, and then a picot stitch. To work your picot, you're going to chain three, and then join back down into the top of that double crochet stitch with a slip stitch and it's going to just form a small ring. Then continue working into this chain four space, double crochet, half double crochet, and one more single crochet. So that's all into the chain four space, single crochet, half double crochet, two double crochet stitches, a pico, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. Next, into the next single crochet stitch, work one single crochet. You're now going to repeat that in the next chain four space. So single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, or two double crochets, second one, pico stitch, chain three, and slip stitch back down into the top of your stitch. Work one more double crochet into the chain four space, half double crochet, and single crochet. You'll now have two points worked. So you're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that stitch, and you can fasten off and weave in your ends. I'm just at the end of my round four here. I'm slip stitching into that first stitch and then I'm going to fasten off. At that time, this time, you can go ahead and weave in your ends, just tuck them in. And we're now going to take our little star motif here and we're going to put it around our ring. To do that, what you're going to do is you're going to, in the point, uh, or in the pico of any point, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. So just insert your hook, find your end here, and join with a slip stitch into the top of any point. You're then going to, working over the ring, so I'm not attached here yet, Working over the ring, you're going to work one single crochet into that same pico. So insert search your hook into the center of that pico stitch, yarn over, and draw up your loop. Now keeping your yarn around the loop, around the ring, yarn over, 
and pull through two. So it's going to now have joined your star to the metal ring. Now working only around the metal ring, you're then going to work 13 single crochet stitches. So to work around the metal ring, you're going to bring your hook under the ring, reach over, grab your yarn, and pull it up around the ring and complete your single crochet stitch. I'll show you that again. You're going to reach through your ring, grab a hold of your yarn, and pull it through. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, and finish your single crochet stitch. So you're going to work a total of 13 single crochet stitches. All just keep going around this ring. See how many I have here. Five. So I'm going to keep going. There's six. This first one is the most awkward to hang on to. Seven. Eight. You'll want to keep it fairly tight. Nine. Ten. And thirteen. So once you have your 13 single crochet stitches, you're going to work a single crochet through the next picot and onto the ring. So this time insert your hook through the center of that picot stitch, reach through your ring, grab your yarn and pull it through under both the ring and the picot, yarn over and pull through two loops. So you've now joined the next point of your star to the ring. You're then going to repeat that and you're going to do the same for each of the points. So around the ring, into the next space, work 13 single crochet stitches, then single crochet in the top of that next picot stitch and through your ring and then repeat. When you come around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. So I'm just coming around here at the end of my round five. I'm joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And I've now come all the way around my ring. You're then going to want to work a hanger for your ornament. So what I did was I chained 20. You can chain more or less depending on how long you would like it. Ten, and twenty. Then you're simply going to slip stitch back down into the top of your ornament, fasten off, and then go ahead and weave in any ends that are remaining. And that's all there is to working your Star of Wonder ornament. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I hope to see you uh, again uh, the next day for our second ornament in this Christmassy crochet along. And uh, until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.